Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading and it will be from April for April 2021 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Sagittarius please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Sagittarians. Nice, we have the Three of Wands, always like that energy. Okay. Message for Sagittarius. Money and career only, please. April 2021. Okay, the card is... Oh, wow. <laughs> Happiness. And I like the butterfly there, you know, the uh, transformational energy. Okay. message for Sagittarius please in money and career only thank you angels okay there we have okay so we have abundance mindset if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future then it will always be one day away from you see feel think and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment and that is what you will experience okay so those are your overarching cards. Let's pull five cards now and see what we get for you, Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Money and career only. And it will be for April 2021. Message for Sagittarius. Money and career only. April 2021, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Okay, thank you. Your challenge, we have the Seven of Swords. The Ace of Cups. <laughs> Very nice energy, that's what's going for you. Seven of Cups, barriers to overcome. We have the Five of Wands in the Advice from Spirit. And the King of Swords is your outcome. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. Very nice. Okay, Sagittarius. I love this energy because it's fire energy. It's your element. You are a fire sign. And fire is all about the passion, the potential, the growth, the success. Um, very much heart and soul energy. The Three in Tarot is all about manifesting something new the beginnings the first signs of it happening and i like that we're beginning with an overarching three but also your outcome is a three as well because it feels like you're manifesting something new here and it's coming i mean this is an energy of what you've been taking action towards there's something good coming your way you're getting the reward of your effort your energy and this person is just waiting for them for it to come it is an energy of your ships are coming in, not quite in the harbour yet, but it's heading in the right direction and it feels very beautiful. Certainly the Three of Wands is the first signs of success. The message is have that abundant mindset, but I love this energy, happiness. Something that's going to make you very, very happy is coming your way. So we have the Seven of Swords, Sagittarius. So... There's a feeling here that you may well have been, it, this is an energy of putting a plan into action in a covert way. Now, we do that for all sorts of reasons. If you're in a current job, you don't want somebody else to know about it because it could threaten your chances and, you know, your current, you know, being employed so that there, there can there can be an energy here of working underneath the scenes for example um to get some kind of new goal to get some kind of new objective it's a strategic energy acting strategically but covertly so however that resonates for you uh, you might be keeping something to yourself for whatever reason you know maybe just until something becomes clear that something's going to happen here so it feels, it feels promising. What's going for you is the Ace of Cups. Happiness, I mean, this is new happiness. 
new joy. It's the cup of joy and it's a new beginning. So whatever your whatever plan you're putting into action here, you are absolutely heading for new happiness. Now this can manifest. Yes, it can represent an offer or an opportunity coming your way. It's something that brings you joy and happiness. You know, Sagittarius, this can also be an emotional new beginning for you. You know, if you haven't been happy in your current place of work or for whatever reason, or, you know, your current situation is getting you down, this is the emotional rebirth as well. So it feels very beautiful. And it's given to you by God, the divine, the universe. You know, this is connect connection to destiny here. Um, lovely, lovely energy. Obstacles to overcome. You know, there is definitely an energy here of you have more you have more doors to open than you realize um this is potential the seven of cups this is hopes dreams and wishes this is a card of opportunity can also be a card of choices so there may well be some choices or decisions that you need to make um or if you're doubting that hopes dreams and wishes can come your way what you're working towards there is a message that one of these cups is able to be manifested you know one of your hopes dreams and wishes is able to be manifested this month so don't lose sight of that maybe some choices or decision and remember we choose by our intuition with the seven of cups is a karmic energy uh, is a card of choosing wisely but if you trust your intuition you won't choose wrong the five of wands is an interesting energy because spirit this is the advice from spirit Spirit is recognizing the struggle. It's almost kind of like there's an energy here that the struggle will be worth it. I mean, this can be about struggle. It can be also about things going round and round. You know, uh, it can be about conflict or disagreement or um, competition even. Um, and it can sometimes be an energy of, you know, uh, struggle, dissatisfaction, you know, I definitely feel in this energy, Spirit is recognizing that it's time to go for one hope, one dream, one wish, and really get off the roundabout of whatever this struggle is. Um, you might be competing for something here, Sagittarius. You might be co competing for something that is going to bring you greater happiness, something very much linked to your hopes, dreams, and wishes. And it might well be a bit of a struggle. Uh, there may well be one or two rounds to go through as well in terms of, you know, this can be interviews or um, meetings or, you know, you know, whatever that is. Um, it can be to do with competition, this one. But it feels in this energy it's going to be worth it. I'm going to clarify this five of wands. Let's clarify this five of wands. Yeah, the struggle is nearly over. That's what I'm saying. The struggle is nearly over. And this is Sagittarian energy. So don't lose hope. Don't lose doubt. Don't lose faith. It is an energy of it's time to go for this because you are one wand away here uh, from completion, from getting to that goal, from getting to the cup, which is part of these hopes, dreams and wishes that you're acting strategically on right now. I like the King of Swords. You might be, I mean, male or female energy is a general reading. This is a card of Aquarius. And this is somebody who, I mean, if this is you, it is staying focused on the vision and putting the plan into action until it's completed. He is a card of success. The Kings are cards of success and achievement because they've mastered their suit. So this is, this is definitely, he is a strategic energy and we have strategic energies in this reading. So definitely an energy of the outcome is keep on putting that plan into action. Now it might well be for some of you, you might be meeting somebody like the King of Swords, um, somebody in authority, very, very clever, intelligent, visionary, a real visionary, a quick thinker, possibly a fast talker as well. <laughs> um, lots of energy as well. Um, 
but somebody who can really, he has power of the mind. So somebody who thinks quickly, who talks quickly, who assesses situations quickly and even people quickly. So if you're meeting somebody, you know, as part of competition or competing for something, there is definitely an energy of, yeah, definitely an energy of somebody who is visionary here. There can also be somebody who is helping you achieve your goal. Um, because I have the three of pentacles here. And it's interesting, this king is in between the five of wands and this three of pentacles. So this could also be some kind of intermediary. You might be dealing with a very smart business agent, recruitment consultant, um, somebody who you know, may well form part, is of influence in bringing this success to your door, you know? Um, so it might well be for some of you, you're either meeting somebody like this in business or there could be some intermediary here, Sagittarius, because the Three of Pentacles is the beginnings of success, very good in terms of financial career success. And it's manifesting something new. It feels like what you'd hope is coming your way is forming in the physical reality with the three of pentacles the beginnings of financial success now this can be about business collaboration teamwork setting up a partnership in business can also be obviously new jobs and so on um you're just excelling in what you do the message with the three of pentacles is stay focused keep on you know prioritizing working hard and this is the hard work is 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 about to the beginnings of hard work is the hard work is about to pay off the beginnings of paying off so the three is the very beginnings of the success happening um manifesting something new so it feels very beautiful here sagittarius uh, very hopeful something is it's almost like you're one step away there may well be one obstacle to overcome if this isn't competition it could be a little bit of a setback here there may well be one obstacle to overcome before you get the success that could be in the form of uh you know another meeting that could be in the form of uh another you know uh, filling out some kind of you know what do they do assessment work is what i'm getting i mean you know i'm not going to be too specific about this but you know it's that kind of thing there might be one thing to do before you finally get the cup. Um, but nevertheless, the success, the beginnings of success is coming your way. And I definitely see this happiness. Um, your ships are coming in. Yeah, so stay in that abundance mindset. Very beautiful. Okay. Yeah, two cards. We have the hair, strength, take time to make clear decisions, bring awareness and light to the situation. Very nice energy there. Stay strong. Uh, we have strength there with the hair. And that is listen up. You are working through deep soul patterns. Release any outdated beliefs that surface. Very nice. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.